What do you mean by the term VLSI? Well, my name is Rishi Ranjul, and welcome to the Back Foot Engineering Community, where I make it easy for you. So, let us ask yourself that obvious question. What do you actually mean by the term VLSI? Well, let's find out. So, us being electronics engineers, it's our duty to actually build and design electronic devices, electronic gadgets. So, every electronic device that we see around us is built to perform a particular function. So, here I have a smartwatch here with me. Say, this smartwatch not only tells me the time, but it can also perform the functions of a computer. So, back in the days, maybe say like 20, 30 years back, a computer was something which was as big as a two-storied building but now now this itself is a computer I have a computer built onto my wrist so the computer has become smaller in size how is that possible so here inside every particular computer there will be a lot of circuits say this here is a particular electronic circuit so an electronic circuit would have many components like say a resistor an inductor maybe a diode whatever so it will have many amount of elements like a resistor inductor diode etc so that it directs and controls the electric current so as to perform a particular function. So here, that is the main aim of an electric circuit. That is, it will contain many components so that it directs and controls the electric current so that it can perform a particular function. So here, every electronic circuit performs a particular function. So therefore, in an electronic device like this, there will be a lot of electronic circuits like this for this particular device to work. But logically thinking, imagine incorporating thousands of such circuits into this tiny little device. That's practically impossible. So for that, what we do is that just so that we can incorporate thousands of electronic circuits into a very small area, that is when an IC or an integrated circuit comes into play. So an integrated circuit is basically a flat piece of a semiconductor material, usually silicon. And on this particular semiconductor material, it contains a lot of electronic circuits, thousands of electronic circuits. This is done by integrating large number of very tiny MOSFETs onto this particular semiconductor material. So by doing that, we get what you refer to as an integrated chip. So therefore, this process of creating an integrated circuit by incorporating or integrating large number of tiny metal oxide semiconductor transistors to obtain a particular integrated circuit is simply what you refer to as VLSI. That is, VLSI is a process of creating integrated circuits by integrating large number of tiny metal oxide semiconductor transistors. As simple as that. So, the expansion for VLSI stands for Very Large Scale Integration. So, therefore, this process of creating an integrated circuit by combining large number of metal oxide semiconductor transistors into a single chip is simply what you refer to as VLSI circuit design. So it is with the advancement of this particular VLSI circuit design that we were able to reduce the size of all these huge computers onto such tiny computing devices just like the smart watch. So therefore this watch has the computing performance as those computers that were back say like 10, 20 years ago. So that is the beauty of VLSI circuit design. VLSI circuit design is used for the purpose of designing microprocessors in PCs, chips in graphic cards, your mobile phones, cell phones, smartwatches, camera systems, etc, etc, etc. That is the application of VLSI circuit design. This simply just briefs up what you refer to as VLSI design. It is simply the process by which we create an integrated circuit by combining large number of tiny MOSFETs or metal oxide semiconductor transistors into a particular single chip. With the help of this, we can have a large number of circuits integrated onto a very small chip by reducing the size. This is simply what you refer to as 
VLSI design. I'll write it down. So the full form of VLSI is very large scale integration. So for electronic devices to work, it'll need thousands of electronic circuits combined together but that will take up a lot of space. So thus, for that, we have something referred to as an IC or an integrated circuit. So an integrated circuit or an IC is a set of electronic circuits on one small flat piece of semiconductor material, which is usually silicon. So therefore, the process of creating an integrated circuit or an IC by combining millions of metal oxide semiconductor transistors into a single chip is simply what you refer to as VLSI. As simple as that guys. So this does is simply what you refer to as VLSI circuit design. So in the upcoming videos we'll be discussing much 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 more deeper onto the various concepts and various processes involved in VLSI circuit design. So I hope you guys now have a clear understanding of what you refer to as VLSI. And if you guys found this video informative, please do hit the like button and join this community by hitting that subscribe button. We will be discussing about the further topics in the upcoming videos. So stay tuned, stay subscribed. Until next time, I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you.